Hi, and welcome to Jags Tech World. This series I'm going to start making is going to be on how to do virus removal from a computer. Right now, I'm going to show you a few programs that I use on a daily basis to do this. I hope you enjoy, and let's begin. This is Kill em All. Once you start the program, it will immediately start killing all the processes on your computer and display them in a list here telling you what they are. The next program I like to run after Kill em All is called Auto Runs for Windows. This program, um, once once you download it, we want to run it. It comes in a zip file. You'll need to extract it to the folder that you downloaded it to. A lot of times I like to kill certain program, common programs to help my computer run when I first start it out. But this is all you do. It's under logon is a common place for malware to start. Explorer, you don't find a whole lot. Scheduled task, you'll find a lot of stuff in here for the malware. And services. The stuff that you see me unchecking are just some common apps, not actually malware. And once you're done, uh, finding what malware or viruses that you're trying to remove. Just click on file and click on exit and that'll save it. <clears throat> the next thing I like to run is ADW Cleaner. This is a very, very simple program to run. You download it. Just double click on it, click on yes to run, and click on the agree. And all you have to do is click on scan. It'll list everything that it finds. I'm not actually going to click on it now here because it will restart my computer once we click on clean or even shutting the program without it actually starting it will restart your computer. It'll list everything. Once it's done click on clean it removes everything it finds then it'll come up with two windows you just click on OK on those computer restarts and then it comes back and it'll give you a file showing everything that it found. You just close out that um, text file and you're ready to go. But this program finds all your typical malware and viruses and adware. So that one would be done. Next is a program called Road Killer. This one's a little it goes a little deeper into the computer than what ADW Cleaner does. It finds a few more things that ADW Cleaner doesn't. And when you download that, you will get a file. It just says Road Killer. You run it. Click on Yes. Accept the license. Then it'll open up a web browser in the background, just close it out. Click on Start Scan. And then we click on Start Scan again. And it'll start scanning out the computer. <clears throat> Rogue Killer, it, it has a free version, but they also have a paid version of this which gives you a few more options. And 
and this will just go through once it's done it will display everything that it finds but it will not check everything that it's not not sure of um, I just typically tell it to select all and then click on clean I've never really seen any false positives with road killer ADW cleaner, it scans most common areas that malware embeds itself. Road killer, it will go through every single registry key, every startup option, every file until it gets to the end. So, depending on how old your computer is, how big your hard drive is, how much information you have on it will basically tell you how much time it's going to take and the power of your machine also I think if I cancel, it will go to the end and show what needs to be done. Nope, since it didn't find anything, it won't show me, but... Avast Browser Cleaner is a program I like to use that will check for toolbars or malicious add-ons to your web browsers. You can download it for free. They used to have a portable version that you didn't have to actually install. But it looks like they've changed it a little bit. So once you download it, double click on the file, it'll install itself. And then all you have to do is run it from the start menu. And you'll get a simple window like this, and it'll show you anything that's in Internet Explorer, Firefox. And also, if you have Chrome, it should show it up here also. For some reason, Avast is not showing uh, Chrome. I'm not sure why. But what I did is I didn't have any add ons in Mozilla Firefox. So I went and installed some for you so you can at least see what it does here. And I also unchecked exclude add ons with good ratings so you can see the ratings here. But if you have something bad, typically it has like one star or no stars at all but all you would have to do is if you want to remove the bad add-on or toolbar just click on remove and it will remove it thank you for watching uh, if you enjoyed this uh, please like the video leave a comment uh, I do plan on doing more videos of how to clean a computer once it's infected, uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, just let me know what you think. If you want to see more, uh, I will definitely make more. If you don't, uh, just let me know.